to prove that weight loss wasn't about eating healthier, but rather just eating less calories, a nutrition professor consumed 1,800 calories of junk food per day for 10 weeks. Not only did he lose 27 pounds, he also lowered his bad cholesterol and raised his good cholesterol. Whoa, look at that. Shocking. When you're in a calorie deficit, your body loses weight. Whoa, this is some crazy revelation. I can't believe we haven't had access to this info before. Oh, wait, we have. And now you just don't have an excuse for not losing weight. Cool. What's going on, Modern Chos? It's your boy, Long Now! Back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot post from r slash fatlogic. Let's get into it. What you call thin privilege is actually fat consequences. Oh, round of applause, man. This is so true. Just because I can do things because I'm skinny doesn't mean that it's a thin privilege. It's more so you can't do things because you're overweight. Fat consequence. Big difference. New U.S. dietary guidelines. No candy or cake for kids under two. Oh, that's just so awful. How could you deprive them of candy and cake that they'll never remember for the rest of their life? But let's get them addicted while they're young so that, you know, they feel like they need this stuff when they're five onto the rest of their life. Yeah, let's build that as soon as possible instead of feeding them healthy food. I'm sure it'll turn out great. Women's Fitness Magazine apologizes after telling readers to burn off Christmas calories. Oh. You know, they had a good thing going and then they apologized because I'm sure there was a ton of backlash for them, I don't know, telling people the truth that they need to hear that they don't want to hear. So, of course, they just get enraged and instead of take any personal accountability, they go, let's cancel this magazine. Like that magazine is not the reason you gained 30 pounds over the holidays. You're the reason. And they're just suggesting that before it gets way out of control, you cut back and, I don't know, lose those 30 pounds and get back to a healthier weight. It's really a simple idea. Like, every year, I go into the holidays knowing I'll, I don't know, gain 10 pounds, right? And then come January, guess what I do? I don't continue eating all that same stuff and just go, well, I already gained 10 pounds. Let me gain 100 more. Oh, I cut back my calories and I lose the 10 pounds. Voila, pretty simple, right? Hi, I saw your post about your first half marathon, and that's a great accomplishment. Pause, this message should stop here, but of course it doesn't. Let's see how it takes a turn. I didn't like how you mentioned your highest weight and talked negatively about it. There was nothing wrong with your weight. You made it seem like you couldn't run at your highest weight, which isn't true. I think you should either remove the post or no longer mention your weight loss on your page so that you won't offend people. Yeah, except they definitely shouldn't do that. And if you're so offended by what they're posting, their weight loss journey that they're proud of, then why don't you just unfollow them or block their post? It's not their job to make sure you don't get offended by what they post on their page. And oh, by the way, this isn't even something you should be getting remotely offended about. The only reason you're getting offended is because you're mad you didn't lose the weight yourself. And now you see that this dude did it and you kind of wish you were him. But yeah, maybe, I don't know. Let's not get into that. You guys aren't ready for that. It's not natural to count calories, calculate macros, or obsessively exercise. How do you think our ancestors managed their health? They listened to their bodies. Yeah, either that or, I don't know, they had to actually go out and be active all day to get a meal. So, you know, they were hunting and then they burned 2,000 calories chasing down the food they needed to eat, which, I don't know, just so happened to be about 2,000 calories. Because, I don't know, back then, people didn't sit behind computer desks for eight hours a day, then sleep for eight to ten hours a day, and, I don't know, sit in front of the TV for another eight hours a day. Like, there's so many people that are completely sedentary and don't do anything all day, but yet feel like they can compare themselves to our ancestors who were literally mobile, like, all day. They were physically active, way more so than most people are nowadays. That's how they could do it without tracking calories or macros. So if you really don't want to track, 
Just be active all day. And you know what? I'm sure you'll lose weight. Unless, of course, you try to out-eat your exercise. But, you know, maybe they would do that. I hope not, though. Substitutes for a healthy diet. Noodles, zucchini, chips, carrots, milk, coconut milk, rice, cauliflower, butter, sadness, sugar, broken heart, cheese, nope, coffee. Oh, this sucks. I'm not doing it. Okay, well, I guess you don't even have to do that. You know, these are just healthy alternatives for people that, I don't know, want healthy alternatives. Guess what? You don't have to have a healthy alternative. You can eat as much pizza or whatever up to a certain amount of calories. Because if your body burns 2,000 calories a day, you know, plus whatever physical activity, let's just say you burn 2,500 calories a day. Well, guess what? You could eat 2,000 calories of pizza and that be your only meal and you'll still lose weight. So you don't necessarily need these healthy alternatives. It's just a lot of times these offer a lot more volume, which will help keep you full for longer and you won't want, you know, you won't feel hungry and you won't want to eat more food because you'll still be stuffed. But, you know, whatever. Has anyone got engaged and then realized, okay, now I need to seriously lose weight? We got engaged and starting January 1st, both my fiance and I want to drop some serious pounds before our wedding. Has anyone had success losing weight before their wedding? Looking for all the inspo and motivation you have. Oh, it's so sad that a wonderful life event would cause you to feel such self-hatred that you want to starve your body until it's thin. Like, it's one thing to want to be healthy, but that has nothing to do with weight. You're marrying your partner. The size of your body has nothing to do with beauty, your marriage, or value. For those of us who are actually fat, this kind of discourse is very sad. Oh, bro, this chick literally just wants to get healthy and look good in her wedding photos. Why can't you just share the inspiration and motivation she wanted instead of trying to convince her that she's healthy at her obese weight? She's not healthy. And oh, by the way, how you say, oh, losing weight won't make you healthy. Yeah, it will make you healthy. It'll make you way healthier than, I don't know, just continuing to eat like you're eating. Now, again, there's different ways to diet and some are healthier than an other than others, but I guarantee you losing weight is healthy unless you're basically starving yourself, which obviously nobody recommends. Full for minutes on this much chocolate. Full for hours with this much chocolate. Or you could show just a little bit of self-control and still have the chocolate amount on the left but I don't know, eat something a little more filling and satiating. So you still get your chocolate and you feel full. So why don't you just eat, I don't know, a pound of broccoli or something before and then eat your friggin' your, your chocolate and you'll be fine or eat a chicken breast and then have your chocolate as dessert. Don't make your full meal five times the amount of chocolate just so you feel full. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash fatlogic. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.